Welcome back to another one of my videos. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Lotta. Today I'm going to show you how to make this chocolate strawberry Swiss roll. Now for our chocolate sponge cake, we're going to need three room temperature eggs, 75 grams of sugar with a good pinch of salt, one package of vanilla sugar, 75 grams of flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, and 25 grams of cocoa powder. Now just like with every sponge cake that we make, we're going to start by whisking together our eggs, sugar, salt, and vanilla until it's super light and fluffy, so about 15 minutes. And in the meantime, we can already sift together our three dry ingredients. Now that our egg sugar mixture is super fluffy like this, we can go ahead and sieve in our dry ingredients. Now I prefer to fold in my dry ingredients in two batches, that way it keeps as much fluffiness as it can. Now that everything's mixed in, we can spread this out onto our pre-lined tin. At this point, this can go into the oven that's been preheated to 180 degrees Celsius or 306 degrees Fahrenheit for about 12 minutes. Now, because your sponge cake is so thin, it's going to bake pretty quickly, so just kind of keep an eye on it. You might need 10 minutes, you might need 15 minutes, depending on your oven. Now in order to get that beautiful rolled shape, we're going to have to roll up our sponge cake while it's still hot so it can cool off in that rounded shape. Now basically all I'm going to do is let my cake cool off for like five minutes just so it's easier to touch and I don't burn my fingers right after baking. And I'm simply going to place it onto a kitchen towel like this that I'm just going to lightly sugar and the sugar is just going to help absorb some of the moisture so it doesn't quite stick as much to the towel. And then we're literally just going to roll it up from short end to short end. Now we just need to wait for this to cool off. Now you can either put this into the fridge to quicken up the process or just let it cool off at room temperature for a couple of hours. Now our cake is pretty much cooled off so we can get to making our filling. So for that I'm just going to be making a really simple whipped cream filling with 300 milliliters of heavy whipping cream, a good splash of vanilla extract, 20 grams of powdered sugar, 30 grams of chocolate shards. You can also use chocolate sprinkles or skip it altogether. And of course, 300 grams of chopped strawberries. Now you don't need to use 300 grams. You can use less if you don't have that many or you can use more if you have a ton of strawberries flying around. I think this is going to be a decent amount because again, you don't want your filling to be like squeezing out of your roll. So don't overdo it with your filling. You don't want to have too much and then waste it. That also being said, I did save a couple strawberries that I'm going to use to decorate on top. 
So in general, I use like one box, one small box of strawberries from the grocery store. And again, you can completely switch up the filling as well if you like. I think a cream cheese filling would be really good as well with the strawberries, but that's totally up to you. Now essentially all we are going to do is whip up our cream with our powdered sugar and our vanilla until we have some nice stiff peaks. And then we're simply going to fold in these strawberries and our chocolate shards. At this point, we can get to layering. So the first thing we're going to do is carefully unroll our sponge roll and hopefully it does not crack. Okay. Now that we've succeeded in unrolling our sponge, we're going to spread our strawberry whipped cream mixture all over it. Now I do recommend leaving about maybe an inch or a centimeter or two at the edge because as you roll it up, some of that filling is going to squeeze towards the end. So to make it a little bit less messy, it's nice to just have like a little bit of strip of your sponge cake at the end to kind of close it together nicely. Now before we can decorate this, this needs to go back into the fridge for about an hour or so just to let everything set and cool off. Now you can decorate your Swiss roll however you like, but I'm just going to do a quick chocolate glaze and then put some fresh strawberries on top. So for the glaze, I'm going to be using a 150 grams of dark chocolate, and I'm just going to melt that down over my water bath with a good spoonful of coconut oil. Now, once again, for our water bath, you don't want the water touching the bottom of your pot, and you also don't want the water to boil. Now that our chocolate is melted, we can go ahead and brush it all over our Swiss roll. I'm going to put this back into the fridge for a couple minutes to set before we start decorating. Now to decorate the Swiss roll, I'm going to be using a couple halved strawberries as well as 100 milliliters of whipping cream that I've whipped up with 2 teaspoons of sugar and a small splash of vanilla extract. Now, if you know that you want to decorate with some whipped cream, you can always just whip up an additional 100 milliliters with your filling and then set that to the side already. That way you're saving a couple dishes, but I didn't know how I wanted to decorate it, so I just whipped it up later on.
And there's our chocolate strawberry Swiss roll. If you enjoyed the video, you can give it a thumbs up or write me a comment down below. And as always, the whole recipe is going to be in the description box as well.